session, we will be looking at the process of managing the entrance of students into the exams venue. It is now 8.15 and time to allow the students into the examination venues. Make sure that only students on the list for that specific venue and examination enter the room. Assist students to find their correct venues. It is the responsibility of the invigilator on duty to ensure that strict control is exercised at the entrance to the examination venue. Thorough checking of students' documents at the entrance is necessary. Whilst the students are waiting to enter the examination venue, the invigilator should remind them to look up their individual seating allocation for that specific session which should be posted outside the venue. Each student must take note of the number of the seats allocated to them and then proceed to the queue of students waiting to enter the venue. When it is time for the students to enter the exam venue, the invigilators must ensure that every student produces his or her admission or exam permit and official RSA identity book or passport on admission to the examination room. Student cards are not acceptable. Invigilators must enforce this admission requirement rigorously. If a student fails to produce the required documentation, an irregularity will be declared. A notification to produce the documentation will have to be completed. Once the report is completed, the student must be allowed to write the exams. They then have 24 hours to produce the documents. If not, the normal procedure for dealing with an irregularity will be followed. Once inside the exam venue, the student must go directly to the clearly numbered desk allocated to him or her according to the seating plan. Students must make sure that they sit at correctly numbered desks. Once the student is seated, he or she should place the ID document and the exam permit on the top left-hand side of the table. It must stay there for the duration of the examination. Upon entering the examination room, candidates become subjected to the authority of the invigilators and must act according to any instructions given by an invigilator. They must keep quiet and are not allowed to talk to each other. The invigilators should ensure that the students sit at the desks in accordance with the seating plan. Already at this stage, the invigilator must make sure that the students do not bring obviously illegal materials into the exam room, such as hats, pencil cases, extra paper, etc. If they do see any illegal material, these should be placed at the space made available for this. Only non-programmable scientific calculators are allowed into the exam room for exams where the use thereof is specified. Once seated, a stamped answer book is provided to the candidate indicating the date of the examination. The invigilator must make sure that the answer books all have the same stamped mark. This is to ensure that candidates cannot bring in other answer books. Invigilators must ensure that students write their correct ID numbers or examination number on their scripts. A good practice is to use alternative stamps on a daily basis with no specific sequence. 
The students will thus have no idea what stamp will be used for their specific exam. At 8.30, the students must be seated in the exam venue 30 minutes before the start of the examination. Latecomers cannot enter at this stage. Only in exceptional circumstances may a student be admitted to an examination room after the commencement of an exam, but not after the first hour has elapsed. Latecomers cannot be allowed to disturb the whole group of students in any examination venue. The latecomers will not be allowed into the examination venue once the doors are closed for the exam answer sheets to be handed out. Latecomers must quietly wait outside the venue until they are given permission to enter the exam venue. They must enter the hall quietly and no reading time is allowed for them. No additional writing time is allowed either. Exam rules must be read to them quietly before they enter the exam venue.